for the demo of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in deep now the recommended method is to just go ahead and sprinkle some into your lid and you can see the color and then go ahead and press your sponge go ahead and press your sponge into the product now I'll let y'all see and press now it is buttery it's soft and it matches my skin perfectly even though it looks a little bit darker even though this looks a little bit darker it matches beautifully It just looks like skin, like your skin. It's matte, it feels matte, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't, to me it doesn't cakey or anything. It just softens your look and completes the whole makeup look. And I just press it into my skin. Look at that. So pretty so pretty now when I now like I said I tried and tested this out a few days like I had it for I had it for a few days maybe almost a week now and I wore it just with concealer and the powder and it covered me pretty decently because I just had to run to the grocery store so I, of course I wasn't going to do a beat face but that that covered me pretty decently I went out like on date night and like beat my face and everything and that finish was flawless and that lasted me that lasted all night all night that that makeup looked very pretty um i wore it to work so i did my face around seven in the morning and that makeup lasted me all day long now i am combination skin so i'm oily i get oily sometimes in my t-zone and sometimes on my cheeks and it helps if I prime. So, um, if I prime, then I'm not as oily, but I still have, you know, little peaks of oil trying to, trying to get through. But it, that, that setting powder set my makeup. Like it was, it looked really nice. Um, it still looked matte at the end of the day. It still looked, um, uniform. It didn't like look patchy or 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 anything now of course whatever foundation you choose will play a part in how your overall makeup look comes out i don't have high-end makeup i don't have high-end foundation or concealer like as you as you've seen all of my products are mostly drugstore products um just because you know that's what I'm working with right now like that's what I choose to that's what I choose to wear so I'm sure you know you know under more high-end concealer foundation like your your end result may be like flawless but even still to me even still like I think it looks so pretty it matches my skin beautifully and even like I said on the other youtuber channels that I've seen um, with darker darker complexions it look like it matched their skin perfectly so I guess it's just something about you know the color that they use and the you know the fact that it's translucent it just girl get your melanin popping that's all I'm gonna say it gets your melanin popping so if you have not tried the Laura Mercier translucent powder in deep I suggest you try to get your hands on it um, I do believe I believe it's in Sephora currently. I don't know where else you could get it from. Um, try Laura Mercier, you know, online or just Google it and see if it pops up for you. But I love it. I think it's, it's definitely one of my staples. Now, I don't have the... 
I don't have the Laura Mercier, like the translucent powder, the regular one. Um, just because um, I've heard a few mixed reviews on that. Now, I don't believe it flashes back, but I think sometimes it'll leave a white cast. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that one. That's why I use the Sasha Buttercup because I feel as though it's a better match for, for um, darker skin tones. But I do want to try that one. I do want to try the other, the, the first translucent powder in that in that line just to see because I heard it is bomb. So like no shade. But this one, this is my staple. I do also think that they make a smaller size in this. I'm not sure. This is the um, the one ounce. And this is a lot. This is a lot of product. So this is going to last a very long time. And I was sent this, like I said, complimentary to give my honest review on it. And I love it. The packaging is really nice. It's like the frosted glass packaging. I love it.